Hey guys, this is the Portal Crash guys. Just um, getting a tutorial today on how to um, have two servers on your computer and how to run a Minecraft off of a USB. Yep. So let's get to it. First, what you'll need to do is if you don't know how to, I'll grab this off. Well, you need to go to just go to Google. Type in what's my ID. I like this. Copy it and put it in your browser. Doesn't really matter matter what browser you have. Um, as as long as you can get to your router configurations and everything then what you need to do is go to you know port forwarding and in order for this you will need to um, create two ports the first one for your normal Minecraft server which is start port 25565 and end port 25565 and the server IP address will be whatever this is right here that in and if you notice tap in both of them and for the second one you just name it whatever and the start meeting point will be 25564 on both now once you put forwarded all you need is a craft bucket um jar folder jar file and in order to get this you'll go to this link and I will post it in the description. And you would download number 2608 1.4.7 RO.2 recommended build right here. And once you've downloaded this, you will just make you know a normal folder, I guess it says Minecraft server. Really whatever you need. And then you will create Let's just get a little example folder here. Okay, here we go. Let me get this out of here really quick. Okay. According to your computer, um, you'll just create a new text document, a WordPad, whatever, Notepad plus plus doesn't really matter, and you will type in. this right here um this is just you know how much ram whatever you know it gets and you click file this will be a dot bat file save as just scroll till you find all files or dot bat hold on one second all types and name it you know really whatever you want you can name it my Minecraft starter dot bat. Make sure you put dot bat at the end of it, or yeah, won't work. Click, so click save. You can now delete this text document, and it, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for setting up your server. And then what you need to do is you need to do the same step. You have then you know. So you have two Minecraft folders like this. I have my first server right here. I have my second server right here. Now, really, you can just use the same things, except whenever you go into your server properties, you need to make sure that one of the ports is 25564, or whatever you port forwarded it on your router. So that was 25564. Uh, this one is where is it? Two five five six five. Two five five six four. Now, I'm gonna start this up. So you can see it will say, oh, what is this? Okay, well my bad. I gotta go with it. Oh my God, it's because I'm doing this video. Hold on one second. I'll slow this. Let's put it. Let's put it two hundred. 
you can adjust it to whatever you want. And if you feel if you want me to, I can put this in the description as well. It's a simpler one. It's what what I like to use. So this works. Yes, as you can see, it says. Oh, let me catch it. It says starting Minecraft server on two five five six four. I'm gonna get my comment over done. Anyways, you can start this one. And it says starting Minecraft server on two five five six five. And if you do want a free domain name, like instead of having a boring IP, um, then you can just PM me and I'll give you the software to do it. Yeah, that's for proof. Oh, and here's the tutorial on the Minecraft for your USB. Oh, I almost forgot about that. First, you need to create a folder called Hold on. Let's transfer really quick because I can do this for you guys. Is it finished? Just about there. Alright, what you need to do is create a new folder called Minecraft let's just go ahead and delete everything out of this sorry for all the delay guys didn't know really think about all this earlier as you can see <sighs> okay the next step yeah, whatever I'll skip all those you know what it's been very aggravating. Why is it doing this? There's nothing in it. <clears throat> Delete. Okay. You create a new folder called Minecraft. Once you create that, you'll create new two folders in it called folder, a folder, bin, and data. Now, once you've done that, you need to find your Minecraft.exe, you know, normally people have it on their desktop or whatever. So I'll put mine there. It is right there. Okay. Now you go into your bin folder. Just, you know, right click, copy, paste. Now what you need to do is go into. Let's go back. Forward. Okay. Your next step is create another new text document and type in sorry I don't have this right now don't want to print oh my god there we go you type in this code right here and this does work if you have any modded um, things you pretty much do the same thing exactly what I'm doing except this last part you change it to whatever you're trying to run You'll paste that. Once that's pasted, you go File, Save As. Um, you will save it in the Minecraft bin and you know where the data folders are. You'll again find all files for all types. Type in Minecraft or really whatever you want. Dot that. Exit. You can now exit this out and delete the text document. 
And if you want to keep all your saves, go into the data folder and type in percent, and then go to your uh, start menu, type in percent, uh, data, percent. Uh, I don't have it, oh well. Alright, really, let's pretend my dot Minecraft folder is there. Let's say this is it right here. You will then drag your dot Minecraft folder into the data folder on your USB. Let it copy. If you guys want me to do any mod videos, just PM me or say it in the comment section below and I'll be glad to do them. And if you want my server IP, then just private message me or whatever and yeah, I'll get to you. And we do need staff, by the way. So. And for the staff, I'm asking you not to post it in the description for an application or anything like that, or asking anything. I would prefer you to message me on my last channel. <laughs> my description got flooded. But just because people keep asking, I told them to message me or they're not going to get it. And, well, no one messaged me, so no one got it. Sorry, my computer's a little slow because it's not genuine. I'm getting, I'm fixing that today. I don't know why it's saying that. I have to call them. Okay, now once this is in, you know, just get all your stuff here. Go back. You may create a, um, you can right click the bat, not bat, and click create shortcut. Oh my god, I can't click anything today. <laughs> Sorry guys. Great shortcut. Okay, there we go. Just drag that to your desktop and just close out your USB and double click. It'll set this stuff right here and it should launch it. And the Hopefully. It should. Here it is. Just like normal. Go log in. And if you don't want to keep all your saves, it'll just do normal, it'll install it onto a USB, the gut jar and all that stuff. And here it is, and to prove, if you guys, to prove, um, that those two servers work, there they are. The only reason why I'm moving is because I don't want you guys to get my IPs. Yep. And I still don't know how to pause Camtasia, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, okay guys, I am back. I found out how to pause it. But yeah, here are both of my servers, and to prove that they are mine, I will pull up the consoles. And they're the exact same map, just because I haven't had time to change anything. And I do need builders and stuff, everything. You click join server. As you can see, Grateful Guns logged on to NAD 103. What is this? What is going on? Uh, just a little loading problem here. console right here, as you can see. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. It's not letting me move my mouse. But I am the owner of the... there. See? There we go! Let's look around now. Sensitivity is like very crazy for some weird reason. But yeah, that's it. 
Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, and that's how you start two servers in my Minecraft. Off of your USB. Want me to do anything else? Think I need improvements or anything? I mean, no. Thanks, guys. This is Portal Craft. Please like and subscribe. See ya.